Hi, this is Gary Rubenstein, and this is the uh, fifth part of a tutorial uh, or a series of lectures about how to do cubic and quartic equations. Uh, if you've been through one through four, we just finished learning how to do the uh, general cubic equation. This fifth one is going to be a bit of a review, and I'm going to do one more example. This example is going to be important because it will be used when we do the quartic equation in the next uh, two tutorials. So uh, here, here's the equation we want to solve, and it is x to the third plus 15x squared minus 36x minus 450 equals 0. Uh, this has very uh, um, an irrational answer, which is slightly bigger than 4. Now the way we're going to solve that is first we're going to convert this into a depressed cubic equation. <clears throat> and this uh, trick was shown in the, um, in the last tutorial. What you do is you replace x with y minus b over 3. Now, in this case, what I mean by b is the coefficient on the x squared term. So in this case, it's y minus 5. Um, what will happen is that we'll get a new cubic equation um, whose answers are um, 5 bigger than the answer to the original cubic equation. But what's special about the new equation, if I actually plug in y minus 5, in each place four fifty equals zero. And if you actually take the time to expand this out, what will happen is that it will become y cubed minus thirty nine x minus three eighty equals zero. So the x, so the y squared term, this is a y, so the y squared term will, will drop out. And that's important because then I can rearrange this into this form. Now this equation was actually done in uh, the third tutorial, this exact uh, equation. I'm going to um, go through how you could use the um, depressed cubic formula to do this one. So, so the equation, so the equation was y cubed equals 39y plus 380. And to just use the formula, what you do is you take the constant and divide it by 2 to get 190. That's part of the, the answer. We also um, square that. 190 squared is 3, 6, 100. We also take the, um, we take one third of the coefficient on the linear term and we cube that to get 2,197. Uh, when you do this, the formula says that the answer is going to have this form. It's going to be the cube root of half the constant, so that's 190, plus the square root of the difference between these two things, um, 3, 6, 100 minus 2197 is 3, 3, 9, oh, 3. That's only part of the answer. The other part is almost the same thing. The only difference is that this is a minus. Now when you plug this thing into a calculator, you're going to get an answer that's a little bit bigger than 9. Actually becomes a 9.009791, which is pretty close to 9. And you might, uh, if, you, if, you, if you go back, 
you remember that x was equal to y minus 5, that, that was the original substitution we did, which makes x is going to be a little bit bigger than 4. Now this equation, this um, y cubed equals 39y plus 380 is going to come into play in the next two tutorials where I'll show you how to do the um, general quartic equation. But for now, this one was just more of a, um, a review of what we've learned so far.